Welcome back to another episode. I don't really have a name for it. It shouldn't be called Quarantine with Jeffrey, but I'm your host either way, Jeffrey Wright. Uh, today we're going to get started painting a nice, I'd say more of an Ontario landscape this time, not so much mountains. And we're going to do it a bit of a misty day. I've went ahead and covered this with actually a very thin paint of titanium white, and I used a little bit of uh, linseed oil and paint thinner and made it into a very, very slick, white, thin layer all over this. Almost like water, almost as thin as the linseed oil. And then I have here on my palette today, I have titanium white, still using the same palette. It's a piece of wood, it doesn't clean very nice. I have Payne's Gray, which we may use a little bit of. Uh, this is Thalo Blue, and then we have, I keep calling it Lamp Black, ivory black and then I have uh, right here is the raw umber crimson red and I have a bright red on here today and I still have the sap green lemon yellow and yellow ochre so I'm just gonna get started over here we're gonna go right into the sky and we're gonna use our two inch brush and we're just going to make it a nice sunny day so make sure your brush is clean enough I'm just going to pull a little bit of that blue. Let's pull a little bit of that blue down. So we're going to decenter ourselves here. There we go. I'm just going to pull that blue down. And load up those bristles. And just a little bit of the blue. Very, very lightly. Nope. Too dark. It's okay, we'll just add a little bit of white to that. That's better. And we're going to leave some of that light color. And it fades out as we come down. That's what that white on the canvas does for us. crisscross patterns keep it going and we're just going to keep going we're going to leave some of these white spots throughout here you guessed it for clouds get a little excess paint off there come right back in here Today I think we're going to be high up in the sky here, why not? Very lightly we're going to come straight across. We're just going to blend it all in. We can blend it until it's completely gone, until there's none of that white left. It's all one color. I'm going to avoid these parts. Get up here. Make sure that part gets blended. It seems to want to have an issue with me today. Today what we'll do is we'll put a little water in there, get some water, same color, same blue. If I seem like I'm a little bit more quiet today than I normally am, it is 4 o'clock in the morning. I thought I'd steal a little bit of time and come up. There we go. That's going to be probably maybe a little bit of a creek or a creek, creek, whatever you want to call it, stream. Who cares? You know what? Let's come, up. Let's come down with that sky a little bit. Let's 
Perfect. Okay, we have our sky there. Really nicely done. I'm gonna just clean our brush off here, our two inch. I need to buy more. I need to get some paint thinner. I've run out of pretty well everything lately. I have a little paint can and it has a screen at the bottom of it and the screen helps clean off the bristles. And then I smack the brush off in there, clean it off. I got a beater bar and a garbage can. Help keep the paint splatter down so I don't ruin everything else in my garage. All right, so let's get started. Make, make some nice little clouds here. I'm just gonna keep using the two inch brush today. I think that's gonna be the majority of what we're doing. And I'm just loading up one side, just one side. I'm gonna come right across here. And today we're just gonna have more of a wispy cloud. I don't think, oops, I don't think we're going to get too crazy here today. So we're not looking too much for definition today. We just want the, well, basically the impression of clouds in the sky. I get a lot of little friends in here. The Bob Ross, happy little clouds. Really was just a amazing painter, that man. It's an amazing work. All right, so as I showed you in my other two videos, just take your brush, start just underneath the little edging that you had, and you just make little swirls, and you want to use hardly any of your bristles, mostly air almost that you're using, and I'm going to blend it all out here. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Now this is a wet on wet style, I'm trying it again, I want to see how it goes. We're just going to keep mixing, blending, 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 blending. Now instead of lifting it up like I normally do, we're just going to blend it straight across. And I'm going one direction here. Not like that little boy band. We're actually going in the one direction of the canvas, getting everything to pull. Maybe lift up a little. I'll just come up with that. There we go. That's a Canadian sky if I ever saw one. Right, cleaner brush. Some of the paint off. And tap it. And just beat the daylights out of that thing. Alright. Throw your brush on the floor. Why not? That's a lot of fun. We're going to take some of that uh, phthalo blue. We're going to put a little spot here. Lance black. Sorry. Ivory black. I did that last time in the video. I keep calling it lamp black. Maybe I'll just use a little bit of that Prussian now. A touch of that red. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Let's get some more color in this. Go back to your two inch brush for a second and just pull a little bit of that bright red. I have a little bit on the corner there. Too much, so I'm just going to tap some of that off. Very lightly, I'm just going to come in like this. Just like this. Don't be shy if it makes a little bit strong up here. That's okay. It's not, not end of the world if you got real dark red there. Just a little bit for me. There we go, a little bit more. Keep coming. Don't be shy. We're just having lots of fun, right? It's your world, do what you want. Make it any way you feel. Oh. Bring that down to the water. All right, and same thing. We're just gonna smooth that off like we did. Very light, all the way across. Now notice I did it more towards the bottom of my clouds. Top of my clouds are still a little bit more light. And I'm just gonna Keep blending that back in. Now the blue is going to pick up through that. It's going to hit that red a bit. It's almost going to start pulling out a little bit of a mauve color to it. There we go. Let 
Nice. Perfect. All right. Canadian landscape. Going back to this real dark color. It is really dark. Really nice color. Really rich. This has to be dark. Pulled it flat. Got a little bit of a bead on the end. It's a little too much of a bead. So let's try that again. Just want to pull the paint flat and just give it a bit of a carve. There. And then you get a little bit of a bead. It's hard to see, but you get a little bit of bead on the end of that knife. Canada has low laying hills, not so much mountains, but they're large. So we're going to just make some choices here. And they're they're under the sky. They, they don't come up too high. And we're just looking, remember we're looking for the peaks here. And we want that dark color. Sometimes you can't see too far. You know what? It comes up this way. It doesn't go that way. There we go. Now, clean your knife off, grab your two inch brush, no, I have an inch and a half here, it's clean, it's the only reason I'm using it, but I'm just going to pull this all down. We're going to make a couple of these hills coming through here. And of course, Canada, Ontario, we have rolling hills more so than anything else. They just roll along. <clears throat> Alright. Just... Oops, what am I doing? Like I said, four in the morning makes you a little tired. Start trying to make mistakes. That's okay. We're going to grab a little bit of the green, a little bit of yellow, uh, these lemon yellow, yellow ochre. Get up into here. And we're gonna get some raw umber. Mix it into there. Let's that lamp black. Really tone it down here. Because that's our tree color for the distance. For now, though, we're gonna get another patch. Brown, black some white. Mixing it in there. A little bit more white here. So there's a little bit of the yellow. Let me get some stone looking color here. Now that's what I want. It's pretty. And pull it thin. And carve it across, get that bead on there. And this is where we're just gonna go and have some fun. The light's coming in off this way. So just like the big mountains we do, we're just gonna pull that. All you're doing is making that knife skip across the tops of those stones. You're just skipping across. Skipping creates those little pockets where it's not touching anything. And that's where you get the effect of the stone from. Don't worry, we got a little bit of trees to put on these. Now we need that shadow color, which is the dark one here that I mix up first. It is going to also be our tree color. Because that's how it works. I'm just going to pull it in. Pull it in. There's a bit of a shadow here and there where you feel like there might be shadows. And they just come down. And they keep flowing the same direction. And I just pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in there. There we go. 
back to that inch and a half brush. It'll be perfect for our trees. We're just going to load it up full of that dark color. And here what we're going to do is actually tap and pull down. And that'll give us the illusion of some trees in the distance. And we're not going to go on the whole mountain, just in different spots of the mountain where you feel that maybe there's some trees living there. Maybe, maybe that's where the those critters are living. And definitely worth taking the hike to go hunt in there next weekend. Like I said, we're going to make this a bit misty. A bit of a misty day. So there we have our first little hills. Clean that brush off a little bit. Get our two inch brush here. We're just going to tap it and it's going to mix in with the colors behind it. Just really what you're looking for here. I just added a little bit of white to my brush to help smooth this off. Make it a little bit more misty. Misty color is what we're looking for, right? I'm sure there's other ways of doing this properly. That's how we're going to do it today. that. I just keep knocking off some of that excess paint. Son of a gun. Don't do that. That's silly. Clean your brush. <laughs> That's okay. It's not an accident. We want that. Why not? Changes nothing. And we'll just blend it back in. First we're going to start over here. We're going to blend it. We're going to lift up. Not too worried about the bottom here. There's nothing we can't fix. Nothing we can't fix. Nothing. Nothing we can't make. A little bit better. Add a little bit of that white. Just get this a little dark for me. That's what we're looking for. There we go. That's better. Alright, come back over front, use our real dark color again. Well, it needs a little bit more sap green. We're a little closer. So this here dark color we had for our hills is going to need a little bit more sap green in it. Maybe a touch more umber. Maybe darken it. But make it more earthy. You know what? We're going to mix that and the green right together. A little base tree color here. More of what I'm looking for anyway. Just a really dark tree color. Now this here, angled brush, it's a, uh, you have no idea, three quarter inch. I'm sure there's a name for it, but it's an angled brush. It's a very sharp brush. The joys of this little brush is that it actually is a great shape for doing some trees. So we're going to go into that brand new color. We're going to load up our brush. A little paint thinner on my paint. We're going to make some decisions. We're going to come down. We're in a valley here. 
So let's start. Just start. Taking up too much of the background there. There we go. The trees are all different sizes. They're all different shapes. I just want the dark color. All we're looking for is that dark color. It comes down a bit. Why not? We don't want to get rid of all this mist that's in there. Try not to get rid of it. And, you know, it's same thing over here. We're gonna get a forest in here. You know, can, Canadian landscapes, beautiful, 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 known for their lush forests, the hills, everything else. Coming right through here. It's down like that. There we go. Put some more color in there. Nothing's perfect. You gotta remember, nature's not always perfect. It doesn't always give us the best landscapes to choose from, but it gives us something anyway. Let's we'll just keep using that same green. I'll we'll just keep coming down here, but just like that. Just get to get that color down there. I'll clean that brush off a bit. I don't think we'll have a lake today. I think we'll just have a river. And we'll put some extra trees in here for us. So we're gonna keep using some of this color up in here and we're gonna keep coming down. Make a river, a bit of a river coming through. So use our knives, we're gonna come across. We're gonna take a little bit of green. It's way too much green. Just mix in some of that bright yellow. Our lemon yellow and that yellow ochre. And we're gonna get ourselves a nice, pretty bright green. A little bit more lemon yellow. And a touch more green again. That's what happens when you have too much yellow ochre in it. It's not as green as you want. And you just pull it out. Same brush that we had, little angle brush, load it up. And very lightly, and just choose a couple of them. And just come across and highlight a few of them. I'm just going to highlight some of them. Let you know that, you know, the sun's touching here. It's just coming up, sure, but we're just getting the touch color. And right down in here, not so bright. And just a couple of them. Not all of them, just a couple of them. Yeah, just like that. Keep coming, don't be shy, have fun, who cares? If it doesn't turn out exactly the way you want, well, you had fun doing it, right? Isn't that the point? Okay. Make some more, more decisions here. Clean off a two inch brush here. I'm gonna dive right into that green color. I'm just going to load up those bristles. Keep coming. Now we got to make some, some new decisions here. Let's get the base color in here. All the little grassy bits that come down here. And we got a bit of a field coming in. 
something over here as well. I need a nice dark grassy bits coming down. Don't be shy. We're going to add some more trees, but we're going to get the lay of the land, right? We really want to make sure we follow the, the angles of what we're doing. So get the angles now. This is where we're going to get those angles. And we're just getting all the dark colors coming down. Just like that. Keep coming down. Make definition, right? It's a little darker here. You can get another little dark line here. Come back in, let it fade out as we come down, mixing in with that thin white layer that we had underneath. That's what we're looking for anyway. Perfect. Now, this can come right across, just almost right across the whole front here. The river can go right over top of that when we're ready. Don't hit your paintings around. That was silly of me. Again, 4 a.m., give me a break. All right, just load it up full of that green paint again and just keep it coming. And it has a little bit of that blue in it. There we go. And we're not done with those trees in the back, I don't think. We're just gonna get some layers going first. Try not smashing it around too much. I mean, if that's what you're into, you like doing paintings and smashing them about afterwards, go for it. It's all you, it's all your world, I don't care. What I do care about is that we're getting to paint together because of that. That's just a lot of fun. I'll just keep coming down like this. And maybe a lot, of, a lot of deer and cow come moving through here. All those cows from the farmers and lead them down to the river here. It's all the little foothills that we've got around here, just these tiny little things. Just filling it all in. I assume it's not 4 a.m. anymore, it's at least. I guess it was closer to 4.30 coming out of here, so it's probably 5 a.m. now. I'm not lying to you. I'm having fun. There, now we got our bit of our color here. It's just the dark color is all we're looking for. Now, we're going to use maybe that one inch brush. Let me just use it touch of this stuff here, uh, that that rock gray that we've made. We can come to the bottom of the trees and we're just gonna pull up a bit just underneath them. You just wanna give the illusion that, you know what, trees do live here. They've got trunks, they're grounded. They're not in trouble, they're just grounded. They know where they live. But of course, it's a little bit misty. And we're keeping that mist as best we can. We get rid of it, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. There's been worse things than getting rid of a little bit of mist, right? So now we're done that part. Let's get that angled brush again. We're gonna work with it a bit more. We're gonna get that really bright green that we had. And we're just going to very lightly on an angle, just underneath those trees, tap in. That really light green. Tap it in a bit. We just want to bring those trees and ground them a touch. So here we're gonna, we're gonna come over. Letting you know there's a little bit of land in front of them, right? A little bit of grass. There we go. Perfect. So you can use that two inch brush again. We're gonna grab a little bit more of that lemon yellow. I have not cleaned the brush and that's okay. And maybe even actually grab a little bit of white. Got a little bit of white. Just throw it in there. And make this very, very bright. I'm gonna load up our brush here. 
This is all our grass, our lovely grass. Just mix it up, get up in there. So right where we were, I'm just gonna keep coming down right on top of what we had. You just want the impressions. You know that there's grass here. No, don't worry, there'll be trees. We always make trees. Don't we? But of course it's Canada. It's Ontario. Ontario. I'm just gonna use some raw umber. Straight up raw umber, a little bit of white in it maybe. So that's what was on the knife. And we're gonna make some decisions here. We've got some, some rocks. Just like that. Maybe there's a rock up in here too. Just coming down in here. We're gonna use that stone again. But Pretty stone color we have. There you go. Let's make some decisions. I don't know where your rocks live. I know where mine are living. They're right in here. Check this out. Let's get some more rocks. It's hard to hold these sometimes, eh? I don't know if you ever have troubles holding these things, but like I said, we're learning a lot of this together, right? Canada and Ontario here, we're on a Canadian shield, which means rock. Lots and lots of rock. Sometimes whole sections of the land is just rock. So we're gonna get that rock in there. We're gonna just put more rock in there. In fact, what we're gonna do now is get some of that brown, which I'm running out of. We're just gonna carve in a little bit of land. Notice I'm not putting any of my water colors or anything yet. We're going to pull that down in just a second. Nice. Perfect. We're not done. Don't worry. We're going to use that lovely stone color that we made earlier. We made lots of it. Just such an occasion. We're going to just pull it like we had. Just pull it down. Don't be shy. And pull it down too. This stone looks a little, looks a little uh, sharp edged. This stone looks a little bit more drawn out. You know, maybe a glacier came through and just dug in deep one side and then carved it all up nice, nice in the other. Who knows? Who knows? Probably have that backwards, but that's okay. much as I love painting, and I do enjoy nice rocks here and there. Maybe that stone comes back a little bit further. And then this land here. Of course, more stone over here. More stones, stone, stones everywhere, stones. There we go. I'm hoping staying out of the screen here, you can see what I'm doing. Just a couple little stones back in here. Just some impressions. You got some stones. I'm trying to peek through. Okay, back to the two inch brush with all that bright color. It's a little thick for me trying to get on top of everything. So I had a little bit of paint thinner today. And then you're just going to ground these. They're home. They don't need to float. They don't need to be on top of everything. bit of that mist in there. Some grass grows over top, grass grows underneath, grass grows everywhere. 
little mossy bits maybe. Not so much moss, but there's some moss in there. Why not? Pull some of that yellow in. Well, that's what I'm looking for. Lovely. dog in here. She's uh, grumbling at me because she was out barking at the neighbors this morning. I don't think she liked getting in trouble for that. Basically, I said, get in here. Now she's upset. Ruined her day. <clears throat> so now we can... I hate those brushes. I'm running out of that paint thinner, so I'm trying to use it less and less to not dirty it up too much, but I don't have a choice anymore. I have to clean my brush. Gotta clean my brush. I'm about to work on that water. I can't be having a dirty, 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 dirty brush. Alright, so clean brush and just pull some of that stuff down. Pull it right into the water. Pulling it sideways. Almost mixing it in, blending it a bit. Alright, just give you the illusion that there's some water there. I have a little, little fan brush. I'm just going to come right up into the white. Loader brush up here. In fact, I need a little bit of paint thinner. Load that brush up. My paint thinner's not so clean. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draw in a little bit. I'm just gonna go back and forth, kind of like rubbing a little bit of the paint on the canvas. And we're gonna, and that's where we got our first one. First little rolling river part there. You want to have just fun with it. Let's make it happen. Make it do what it's going to do. Just like that. We don't want to hide everything we've got here. But we definitely want to make it look like it's alive, right? Make that water move. Make it come around here. Come around that stone right there. It just keeps coming down. There we go. Now don't be shy. Grab some of that white again, but this time with your knife. You clean your knives off before you do that. I'm just having a hard time. Oof. A little bit of paint thinner on my knife here. I'm just going to pick up a little bit. I'm just going to start separating. Let's put a little bit of separation. Remember, water's flat. Unless it's moving around and doing big waves, for the most part, water's flat. Especially in little creeks like this. You can definitely tell the water's flat. Eh? And it's just going to come in. Just where you think the water's hitting the edge of the shore here. There. Yeah, perfect. Using that little fan brush. Actually, we got it ran out of color, so I'm gonna grab sap green, touch the touch of the crimson red, and a little bit of the black, and dye uh, out of that brown. But I suppose this color would be fine without it. 
mix it up. Mix up the color right here. It's just a little dark, dark, dark color, right? I think you know where we're going with this. Making big decisions here. Right up to there, there we go, that's where I want it. He has a friend, he can't be alone. Oops. Sure your knife or brush is flat. Oh, it comes off the page here. Oh, this one, he comes right out. Right out front here. Look at him, look how big he is. Oh, he's strong. He's a strong tree, that guy. Big base full of little critters, I'm sure. These little buggers are living right up in there. Let's make another one here. This one comes right down. Right down in front here. You know what? He's not tall enough for me. Maybe he comes up here. Maybe he starts off strong, but then he skips. You know how some of them, they get that skip in their branch. They don't grow all the way there. Poor thing. Maybe he's further back. Maybe he stops there. Or maybe he doesn't. Who cares? It's your world. You make him end where he wants. He stops growing there. And of course, let's get two, two more over here. I think two more would be perfect. We're just crisscrossing back and forth like this. Remember, this is the base color, just enough to bring it all dark, dark. Hmm. And not all trees grow straight across, right? We know that. Pine trees can be known to grow almost sideways. And they reach for the sun. I'll just put another one right up in here. Big one. Oh, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. A little sparse in the branches, though. Oh, that's better. Let me just keep coming down. See, I knew he was going to live there. I knew it. He was crying to come in. He was like, don't leave me behind. So I didn't. No one left behind. No one left behind. Let's just clean your brush real quick. Just make sure nothing gets forgotten and left on there. <sighs> Clean it on the rake. And let's come back and get that very, very bright color here. It's very bright. Lemon yellow, a little bit of sap green. Make sure it's green. I really want green. Just come in. I'm just going to make it right. I keep forgetting this one step every time. You know what step that is? A trunk. I forget a trunk every time we do this. My video is taking me 40 minutes to do. I hope you don't mind. I'm trying not to go too slow. Just a little bit of that brown. There we go. And I wanted a little yellow ochre in that brown. That's all. It's a dark color, maybe a little white in it, brighten it up a hair, just a hair. Just cut across. Cut across and maybe get those lines in there. And just where you think the trunk will peek out. That's where we want it. Definitely make sure it's in there. So that's where we know it's going to be. This little guy is a little bit alone. 
You know what? That's okay. Sometimes trees are alone. Sometimes they don't have a lot of friends. Oh, maybe this one's got a bit of a dead one that comes up beside it. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Make up your own world, right? That's all we're doing here today. It's just making up our own world. Alright, load up full of that nice bright paint. And we're just going to go over top. What we already know to be true. Pretty little trees. Happy little things. And let it get darker as we come down. Let it get darker as we come down. You don't want to get rid of that dark color in behind. That's a shadow. It's a shadow in our older tree branch growth. Maybe this one's a little bit more yellow. A little more yellow ochre. It's got that rich color and almost starting to get rusty to a touch. Why? I don't know. Why not? Like the way he's turned out a bit. That's okay. Don't have to like it. Gotta love it though. It's your creation. Can't hate your creation, can you? Perfect. Clean my brush off a bit. Grab more of that bright, bright green instead of the uh, yellow there. Just come back down. Keep coming. All the way down. But now there's a bunch left down here. I don't know what to do down there. I'm just kidding. Of course I know what to do. We use our two inch brush. When we pull in on one side of that two inch brush, all that green. It's a little bit rounded on the top here. Let me just tap in some grass. That's all we're doing. Getting these trees a little bit grounded here. I want more yellow. And you know what? There's a little bit of red that sometimes grows. Let me grab a little bit of that red. Sometimes there's a little bit of red that grows. I don't know what's that red, but I know the red grows. There's some red somewhere in there. Add some red. Canada's full of color. Yeah. It's full of adventure, full of color, just stunning red right down in there. Look at that. Beautiful. It's adding a whole new element. Following all the way along. So now that we got most of that done, make sure your knife's clean. Just pull a little bit of white. And let's make some, uh, make a little bit of these waves here. A little bit of, maybe the, the water is rushing a little bit more. That's all we're doing. We're just, almost like we're using it for a mountain. Just cutting in. Now, this video is probably a little longer than most of my other ones, and that's okay. But I have that number one liner brush, very, very thin. Use a lot of the paint thinner on it, and right into that burnt umber. Straight up burnt umber. More paint thinner. I really want to make it almost watery. Right here. And then I'll be done, go back aside, get my kids some breakfast. They're not even up yet, but they could. So now, there's a lot of sticks. A lot of different sticks, little, little bush, little little twigs and such. Don't be shy, get them in there. You really want to make sure they all get in there. Just like a couple little things growing in there, huh? 
if you really want, you could go straight into that yellow ochre, and keeping some of that brown on there. Let me get some some old dead grass, mix it in with that white. It's a little bit of burnt raw umber, yellow ochre. Ochre comes up and just twist it in there. Nice fine points. Maybe we got a little bit of grass bits in here. I'll just go gently just to add the color. But of course, I need some stumps. I need a tree stump. Just need a tree stump here. Let's get it up there. Maybe there's a, a log in here. Gnarly little branch off of him there. Let him shine. Load it up. Brush it in. Do what you want. Put a color on there. There we go. A little more of that. Add a little bit of white on there. I want it to really stand out a bit. That branch, really gnarly branch looking. Out of trouble. There we go. Maybe there's a little tree over here that's growing and didn't quite make it. Poor little guy. There's another one in here. Maybe there's a little tree tried to come up and got flooded out by the water. Another one. Doesn't matter, true bro. Do what you want. Just like that, don't forget to make sure that anything you put in needs to be grounded. It needs to make sure that it's part of the earth. It's got grass attached to it. It's got something going. So that, I think, I think it's just about done. So I'm just going to sign it and we'll be finished for today. Come right up here and we'll give it a nice scratch my signature in and usually... I know it looks backwards to you that I'm doing this left-handed, but actually, I'm right-handed. I have the video backwards and it flips it on me. So we're just going to sign this right here, just by scratching my name into it. And that way the paint hardens and makes the very faint, very hard to see, original. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. Really hope you had fun painting this. Canada is just one of the most beautiful places to try to capture and put onto a canvas, and I hope you've had a good time. Just have to have fun with it. Take care.